What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and use my new newspaper transition pack inside of Premiere Pro. So once you've downloaded the pack it should come in the zip file and inside of that file you should have 10 different items here. I've created five different styles of this transition as you've seen in the intro of the video but there's actually 10 items because Five of them are for horizontal and then the other five are for vertical videos. So what's nice is you can use these for obviously the horizontal videos like this, or you can go ahead and use them for Instagram reels or TikToks or whatever. So that way you can use these templates for pretty much whatever videos you're editing. And just a heads up, these templates only work for the newer versions of Premiere Pro. So 2025 and above, they will work perfectly fine. But if you're on an older model, like 24 or anything below that, then these will actually not work. And I don't know if there's a way to downgrade them to an older version of Premiere Pro. So yeah, just make sure you're on the newer version of Premiere Pro, which is 2025 right now. So once you have that updated, then you can go ahead and install these and then install the presets. We just want to go over to our Premiere Pro panel over here to the graphics templates. And if you don't have that, you can just go up to the window and then look for the graphics templates should be somewhere in here. So yeah, right here, you just want to have that selected and as well, the properties, just make sure that's selected as well. Now, inside of our graphics templates, there's a little plus arrow and we can just go ahead and click that and then locate those files that we saved on our computer. So once you have the folder selected, let's go ahead and select this folder. And it looks like it won't actually import into my Premiere Pro because I already have it added into my graphics templates and it's not going to duplicate it, but it should just go ahead and import directly into here. And then you can open up the local templates like this and then locate that folder newspaper transitions. And then if you just close down that tab, you can see in here all the different previews of those transitions and you can actually just scrub through them with your cursor and it'll actually play it back so you can kind of see what they look like before you go ahead and drag them into your timeline. So this is a super nice feature so you can just easily go here and see what they look like before you go ahead and import them into your timeline. So there's a lot of different varieties here you can choose from, but honestly, one of my favorites is this newspaper transition four, or is it right here? I think this is one of my favorite ones in this pack. So let's go ahead and drag this into our timeline. Now for this transition, I want to drag it in between these two clips. So I'm just going to drag this one out like this, and then we can just bring this newspaper transition between those two. So then it goes from our first clip and then it'll play this newspaper and then transition into our second one here. So the template selected, we can go into the properties and inside of here, it'll actually have all the different elements that we can change, obviously the videos, and then there's a few different texts here that we can change and then as well as the effects. So let's start off by dragging and dropping some different video clips into these different layers here. Let's go ahead and select one of these video clips in my project here. And when you open them up, you can browse through them. And I assume if you already use Premiere Pro, then you're pretty familiar with the preview and everything. But let's go ahead and select a part of this video clip here. So by hitting I on your keyboard, it will create an endpoint. And then let's just create an out point like right here. And then you want to drag this video clip right here into that layer. Now we just want to go ahead and do that same thing for the next one. Let's go ahead and select another video clip and then select that in point as well as an out point and then drag that into the video clip two. Then let's do that same thing again for this other video clip and drag that into the video clip number three. Now for video clip number four here, it's actually gonna be ending on this one on like the freeze frame on the newspaper. So you're actually gonna be seeing this one here. What we're gonna do is actually take this first video clip that we wanna transition out of and import that into there. So, so to bring up this layer, you can hit F on your keyboard and it'll bring up that selected video clip and then select the newspaper transition template and then let's just drag that into video clip four so that's a quick way to drag and drop it because you can't just go ahead and select this video layer as you can see you can't like drag it in there it just doesn't work so you'll just have to hit f on your keyboard to open this up and then drag it in that way and then for the last one video clip number five we're basically going to do the same thing for this outro clip so we're going to be transitioning into this one which is why it's the last video clip so let's hit f on that layer and then open up the template and then drag that into video clip five. And here's a quick preview of what this looks like. As you can see, the video clip is playing back in the newspaper, which is totally fine if you want to have your video playing back, but it doesn't totally make sense if the video is playing in a newspaper, because obviously, I mean, that doesn't happen in real life. So what we can do is actually freeze that layer inside of here. So that is video clip four that we replaced. So inside of that, we can double click this layer and it'll actually open up this pre-composed or nested layer that we can go ahead and adjust. And we want to make sure that we're freezing it on the end frame because that is the last frame that we are transitioning out of. As you can see, if I go back, those frames match up. So let's go ahead and right click this layer and hit add frame hold. And then we could just delete whatever is over here and then expand it. So it fills in our whole entire composition. And now it's just a frozen layer. So we can exit out of here and that should be updated in our main composition. 
And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for this video clip five as well. And since we are transitioning to the start of this video layer and not transitioning out of it, like at the end, we're gonna just go into that uh, template layer and right click this and hit add frame hold at the very start. So now this whole entire layer is just gonna be frozen and then we can exit out of that once again. Another thing I'm noticing as I'm scrubbing this back, you can see there's a bit of a black border around the edge of this video. And what's nice is you can actually easily just scale this up inside of this panel here. So let's bring this to like 110%. And there we go, that fixes that problem. The rest of them might have to fix as well. Maybe the last one, let's bring that to 110%. I guess we might as well just do that for all of these because it looks like there's a bit of a black border on all of those ones. So as well as you can move the position of the video if you need to, you can move it to the right, left, up or down, just like that. Now let's go ahead and move on to adjusting the text. Pretty simple. Literally all you do is select the text and rename it to literally whatever you want. <laughs> I'm just gonna rename this one to Tylo. And as you can see, it updates and applies all the different effects onto the text, which looks super cool. You can adjust the size of it. You can even change the font so you can use whatever font you wanna use. Uh, so you can make it pretty customizable, change the different styles of the text here. And yeah, you can do that for these other layers as well. So there's like a little date here we can change. And then we can change this last text layer as well. Now, obviously there's still other text on the newspaper here that is just totally random that I don't even know what it really says, but you can go ahead and read it if you want. But hopefully they're not just pausing on the video and reading everything on this newspaper and they're just kind of paying attention to the main things here. So yeah, moving on to the next properties in this template, we actually have the overlays, which is pretty cool. We can go ahead and toggle on the grunge intro and outro on this one. There's a bit of like this grunge effect, but if we go ahead and toggle this off, like it says, it just turns it off. So <laughs> yeah, you can turn those off as well as film burns. There's a film burn on this intro here and you can turn this off like that as well as throughout the video, there is dust particles and a paper overlay. So if you wanted to turn this off, you could turn it off and then just apply maybe your own overlays that you have. But yeah, this is just an easy way to adjust those. And then the super cool one is this frame rate. We can go ahead and change the default value for, I think pretty much all of them is 12, which gives it that like super slow shutter effect, which is like an older kind of style camera. Um, but you can change that to like 30. Since this project is, I think 30 frames per second, then it'll be super smooth and you won't really have that jittery effect. As you can see, it's like a super smooth camera animation, but I personally like the style of that slow shutter. You can even go down to eight, I'd say is probably maybe the lowest I'd go to, but yeah, it's up to you to kind of play around with that and get the effect you're looking for. Next, we have this color overlay, so we can blend this color that is right here into our video and it creates this cool different style to your video. You can change the color as well and pretty much making it whatever color you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that back to 100% so it's just the default uh, video so I can go ahead and show you guys this last effect which is black and white and it just does what it basically says it makes everything black and white including your video layers yeah if you want to make your video black and white you can go ahead and do that but yeah those are pretty much all the properties inside of these templates and they're pretty similar throughout all of these here I just created an in and out right here and I'm gonna go up to sequence and render in and out and once this is done, we'll get a smooth playback of what this effect looks like. All right, so that just got done rendering. So let's go ahead and play that back to see what it looks like. So yeah, that looks super cool. And the fact that we just did that in, I think maybe like less than five minutes is actually crazy because the amount of time it took for me to create these actual templates took way longer than five minutes. So pretty nice to be able to just drag and drop different videos and create this insane different effect to your videos. And yeah, the intro on this one is just super cool as well as the outro. I just really like how these flow together. Another quick tip, if you wanted to blend the outro and intro together a bit smoother, obviously the film burn kind of cuts off here. That's just the way the template is. You can't really get around that with creating them. So if you want to go ahead and apply your own film burn over it and just obviously scale this up and then add it to screen, you should have a film burn yourself. I mean, we're in 2025 now. If you're not using film burns in your videos, then I don't know what's going on, but hopefully you have a film burn that you can just drag onto your video and, and this will just help smooth out that transition. Yeah, and that goes for the other ones as well. You can just apply this little film burn here. And I'm just gonna go over this super quickly on how to do this for your vertical videos. And as you can tell over here for the templates, the ones that say vertical on the end are obviously meant for the vertical video. So any of those will work perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and try a different one for this one. Transition five is one of my other favorites as well. So let's go ahead and apply this for the vertical video. And then we can just align our second clip to the end of that template. But yeah, I'm just gonna change this text to Tylo here. And then for the video clip one, let's go ahead and replace that with the video clip that we're transitioning into. So let's go here, hit F to open that one up and then select our newspaper transition and then drag that into here Then open it up. And we're just gonna do the same thing again, just freeze frame this, 
add our frame hold. And then we can go ahead and scale this up just a bit to get rid of those black borders on the top and bottom. Now let's just go ahead and render this out so we can see the preview. All right, so let's go ahead and play this back now. And yeah, once again, a super clean and smooth transition. And yeah, I just really like how this text appears on the screen here. And I just went ahead and applied one of those film burn overlays just to kind of help smooth out that transition. And yeah, all in all, this is a super clean effect. And I definitely think this would make your edit stand out. So if you'd like to download this newspaper transition pack, I'll have a link down in the description below where you can go ahead and purchase them. There's also a button available where you can go ahead and download one free template. So you can go ahead and try this out before you go ahead and purchase this. Or you can just go ahead and just use that one template. It's totally up to you. But if you do go ahead and purchase this pack, I really appreciate it as it does help out this channel as well as the countless hours that I spent creating all these different presets. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this or even more templates in the future, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.